It's time to take a journey back through the moments that define 2023. On January 1st, Jeremy Renner, an actor known for his role in the Avengers film series, had an unfortunate incident near Reno, Nevada. While trying to protect his nephew, he was accidentally struck by a snowplow, resulting in fractures to more than 30 bones. It took nearly a year, but fortunately, he eventually recovered from the injuries. Also on this day, Croatia adopts the euro and becomes a part of the Schengen area, a group of European countries where border checks have been eliminated. It's January 5th when the funeral of Pope Benedict XVI takes place. His papacy started on April 19, 2005, and concluded on February 28, 2013. He was 95 years old when he died. Pope Francis I was appointed as his successor. Prince Harry's book Spare becomes available worldwide on January 10, sharing controversial insights into his upbringing and conflicts with the British royal family. While some critics commend Harry's candor, Others express concerns about the inclusion of overly personal details. Guinness World Records notes that, upon release, Spare achieves the title of fastest-selling non-fiction book of all time. Matteo Messina Denaro, Italy's most sought-after mobster, was arrested at a private clinic in Palermo on January 17th after evading capture for 30 years. On January 19th, New Zealand leader Jacinda Ardern declared her resignation as Prime Minister after serving for five and a half years. Prime Minister Fumio Kishida warns that Japan is facing challenges in maintaining societal functionality due to a declining birth rate and high life expectancy in a speech to the Japanese Parliament on January 23rd. On January 25th, the United States and Germany jointly declared their intent to send significant numbers of battle tanks, 31 from the U.S., 14 from Germany, to Ukraine to assist in resisting the Russian invasion. On the same day, Chris Hipkins takes the oath as the Prime Minister of New Zealand, succeeding Jacinda Ardern, who resigned six days ago. On January 27th, it was International Holocaust Remembrance Day. Representatives from different countries come together at the Auschwitz-Birkenau concentration camp, with Doug Emhoff, the inaugural Jewish spouse of a U.S. president or vice president, among the participants. On January 30th, Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky asserts that Russia has initiated a significant military offensive, describing it as big revenge, particularly in the vicinity of Bakhmut in eastern Ukraine, following a period of several months marked by a military stalemate. We have arrived in the month of February. On the first day of this month, Tom Brady, often considered the greatest NFL quarterback at the age of 45, declares his retirement once again. This decision comes after a remarkable 23-year career, boasting a record-breaking seven Super Bowl titles achieved with the New England Patriots and Tampa Bay Buccaneers. On the 4th of February, U.S. fighter jets intercepted and shot down a Chinese surveillance balloon that had drifted across the eastern seaboard, sparking a political controversy. On February 6th, Turkey and Syria experienced strong earthquakes. The first, measuring 7.8 magnitude, occurs at 4.15 a.m., 23 kilometers east of Nurdagi. The second, measuring 7.5 magnitude, happens at 1.24 p.m., accompanied by several powerful aftershocks that lead to building collapses. The death toll reaches 59,000 in Turkey and 8,000 in Syria. LeBron James achieves a milestone on February 7th by scoring 38 points in a game against the Oklahoma City Thunder, making him the NBA's all-time leading scorer. This accomplishment surpasses Kareem Abdul-Jabbar's career point record of 38,387. On the same day, President Joe Biden presents his State of the Union speech, highlighting concerns about the ultra-rich, including big oil. He also addresses growing challenges from China and acknowledges the tragic death of Tyre Nichols. On February 22nd, astronomers disclosed that data from the Webb telescope is challenging previous ideas about the formation of early galaxies. The telescope discovered six huge galaxies, each one hundred times larger than anticipated, shortly after the Big Bang. UK Prime Minister Rishi Sunak and President of the European Commission Ursula von der Leyen revealed a new post-Brexit deal for Northern Ireland on February 27th.
The deal's goal is to substantially decrease the necessary checks. On March 4, nations at the UN reached a groundbreaking high seas treaty. The agreement aims to designate 30% of the seas as protected areas by 2030, marking the first international ocean protection agreement in 40 years. On March 8, researchers from the Geyers Institute stated that the world's oceans are now estimated to be burdened with 171 trillion pieces of plastic, a notable rise from 16 trillion in 2005. Arch-rivals Iran and Saudi Arabia surprised the world on March 10th by agreeing to re-establish diplomatic ties during talks in Beijing. On the same day, Xi Jinping was appointed to a historic third term as the president of China, a position that was previously restricted to two terms. On March 14th, a large US MQ-9 Reaper drone crashed into the Black Sea following a collision with a Russian fighter jet. The US claims that Russia forced the drone down, leading to an international incident. Emmanuel Macron's government employed special powers on March 16th to push through pension reform, increasing the retirement age from 62 to 64, amidst extensive protests. On March 22nd, the Government Privileges Committee questioned former UK PM Boris Johnson about whether he knowingly provided misleading information to Parliament regarding COVID-19 rule violations by his administration. On the same day, Bill Gates, the founder of Microsoft, emphasized that the progress of artificial intelligence, AI, is the most significant technological advancement since the introduction of the graphical user interface, GUI, in 1980. On March 29th, UK King Charles III embarks on his initial official trip abroad, visiting Germany and arriving in Berlin. Former U.S. President Donald Trump faces charges from a Manhattan grand jury on March 30 over hush payments made to porn star Stormy Daniels, marking the first instance of a U.S. president facing criminal charges. On March 30th, influential figures in artificial intelligence, such as Elon Musk and Steve Wozniak, signed an open letter expressing concerns that the race to develop AI systems is spiraling out of control. They call for a suspension of these efforts for at least six months. On April 3rd, NASA revealed the lineup of four astronauts chosen for the Artemis II lunar mission around the moon in 2024. The team includes Christina Hammock Koch, Victor Glover, Reed Wiseman, and Canadian astronaut Jeremy Hansen. Finland becomes the 31st member of NATO at a ceremony in Brussels, officially joining on April 3rd and doubling NATO's border with Russia. The biggest cosmic blast ever observed, named AT-2021 LWX, occurred on April 11th. It was like a giant fireball, about 100 times the size of our solar system and shining 2 trillion times brighter than the sun. Scientists believe it was caused by a massive gas cloud, entering a supermassive black hole located 8 million light-years away. On April 13th, the FBI in the United States arrested a 21-year-old person from the Massachusetts Air National Guard. This individual was taken into custody for sharing confidential documents, including secrets related to national security, in an online gaming chat group. On April 14th, the JUICE satellite, part of the European Space Agency's mission to explore Jupiter's moons, was launched into space. It took off on an Ariane 5 rocket from the Kourou spaceport in French Guiana. And we stay with the space events, several of which have already taken place this month. On April 20th, the Starship rocket from SpaceX, known as the most powerful ever made with 33 booster engines, had its first test flight in a historic event from Boca Chica, Texas. Unfortunately, it exploded four minutes into the flight. April 24th marks the day that, according to UN estimates, India became the most populous country in the world, surpassing China. The estimated population is 1,425,775,850 people, and it is expected to reach 1.7 billion by the year 2064. On April 28th, the President of Brazil, Luiz Inácio Lula da Silva, announced the creation of six new areas for indigenous communities. These reserves cover a total of 620,000 hectares, 1.5 million acres, and come with rules against mining activities and limitations on commercial farming. On April on 28th, May 1st, the President Jeffrey of Hinton, often called the Godfather of AI, 
steps down from his position at Google. He does this to raise awareness about the risks of AI, expressing concerns about job losses and a future where it might be challenging for people to distinguish what is true. A mysterious drone attack struck the Kremlin in Moscow on May 3rd. The motive and the individuals responsible remain unclear. Although Russia suggests it was an attempt to assassinate Vladimir Putin, both Ukraine and the United States deny any involvement in or knowledge of the incident. On May 6th, the Canadian province of Alberta announced a state of emergency due to unusually severe wildfires. Over 100 wildfires have occurred, leading to the evacuation of 25,000 people. On the same day, King Charles III and Queen Camilla were crowned at Westminster Abbey in London. This marks the first time a monarch has been crowned in the UK in 70 years. On May 21st, Rayana Barnawi, the first female Arab astronaut from Saudi Arabia, went into space. She was part of Axiom Space's second private mission, along with another Saudi, Ali Al Karni, and Americans Peggy Whitson and John Schaffner. On the very same day, Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky unexpectedly joins the G7 summit in Hiroshima, Japan. During the summit, global leaders collectively expressed their disapproval of Chinese actions involving economic coercion. On May 24, the world lost Tina Turner, the renowned American-born singer and longtime rhythm and blues icon. She was honored with induction into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame as a solo performer in 2021. On May 28, Turkey's president Recep Tayyip Erdogan secured re-election in a runoff vote. He won with 52.14% of the votes, marking a historic third term in office. On June 6, a significant dam in Novokakovka, located in Russian-held Ukraine, broke, causing flooding along the Dnipro River. Thousands of people are evacuated due to concerns about possible Russian sabotage. Boris Johnson, the former UK Prime Minister, resigns as a member of Parliament on June 9. He alleges that a government committee is attempting to force him out. This happens just before their report, which is looking into whether he gave false information to the government regarding lockdown parties. On June 9, four Colombian children were discovered safe after enduring 40 days in the Colombian jungle following a plane crash that claimed the lives of the three adults on board. Antony Blinken met with senior Chinese officials in Beijing on June 18, becoming the first U.S. Secretary of State to do so in five years. The goal is to re-establish regular communication between the two countries. On the same day, the Titan, a submersible from the American tourism and expeditions company OceanGate, imploded on June 18, 2023, while exploring the wreckage of the Titanic in the North Atlantic Ocean near Newfoundland, Canada. On June 19, Chinese Premier Xi Jinping held a meeting with U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken at the Great Hall of the People in Beijing. On June 24, mercenaries from the Wagner Group, led by Yevgeny Prigozhin, staged a rebellion against Vladimir Putin's government. They advanced towards Moscow, but a last-minute agreement with Alexander Lukashenko persuaded them to stand down and relocate to Belarus. On July 1st, Dutch King Willem Alexander issued a formal apology for the Netherlands' involvement in the slave trade during the 160th anniversary of the abolition of slavery in the country. Israel initiated its largest military operation against militants in the Jenin refugee camp West Bank in two decades on the third day of July. According to Palestinian authorities, this resulted in the deaths of eight people and injuries to 100 others. On July 5th, the world experienced the hottest global temperature ever recorded for the third consecutive day, with the average global temperature reaching 17 to 18 degrees Celsius. On July 14th, India successfully launched its Chandrayaan-3 spacecraft from the Sriharikota Space Center, marking the country's third moon mission. Greece undertakes its largest evacuation on July 23rd, relocating 18,000 tourists and residents away from the wildfires on the island of Rhodes during the country's hottest July in half a century. On July 29th, scientists successfully revived minuscule roundworms that were frozen in Siberian permafrost for 46,000 years, demonstrating that life can be paused and then restarted. On August 1st, Former President Donald Trump faces charges of conspiring to defraud the country and obstruct the peaceful transfer of power, according to special counsel Jack Smith.
Wildfires on the Hawaiian island of Maui, causing devastation to the historic town of Lahaina, resulted in the tragic loss of at least 97 lives on August 9th. India's Chandrayaan-3 lunar mission achieved a historic milestone on August 23rd by successfully landing on the moon's southern pole. This makes India the fourth country to ever accomplish a lunar landing. On the same day, Yevgeny Prigozhin, leader of the Wagner mercenary group, is reported to have died in a plane crash northwest of Moscow, along with nine others, as stated by the Russian Federal Air Transport Agency. India achieved a significant milestone on September 2nd by successfully launching its spacecraft, Aditya L-1, which is designed to study the sun. On September 8th, a powerful earthquake with a magnitude of 6.8 struck central Morocco. The epicenter was in the Atlas Mountains near Marrakesh, resulting in the tragic loss of around 3,000 lives and causing extensive damage that affected over 6 million people. After heavy rain from Storm Daniel on September 10th, the collapse of two dams unleashed a torrent of flooding through the city of Derna, Libya. The city was completely cut off, resulting in the tragic loss of over 4,000 lives, with 8,000 people reported missing. On September 24th, NASA's OSIRIS-REx mission, which aimed to bring back a piece of the asteroid Bennu, successfully returned to Earth. It landed in Utah. On September 26th, Donald Trump was declared guilty of fraud in a civil case brought by New York Attorney General Letitia James. The case involved allegations of inflating his assets. On October 3rd, the Nobel Prize in Physics was granted to Pierre Agostini, Ferenc Krauss, and Anne Louillier for their research on attosecond pulses of light. Hamas initiated a significant air and ground attack on Israel from Gaza, causing the loss of over a thousand lives and the capture of hundreds of hostages. In response, on October 7th, Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu declared, We are at war. Max Verstappen, the Dutch driver, secured his 14th win of the F1 season on October 8th, dominating the Qatar Grand Prix. This victory also earned him his third consecutive Formula One title. On October 13th, NASA sent a spacecraft to explore the metal-rich asteroid Psyche, which is the largest metallic object in the solar system. On November 11th, the town of Grindavik in Iceland, located on the Reykjanes Peninsula, was evacuated due to thousands of earthquakes and increasing magma activity, indicating an imminent eruption. Former British Prime Minister David Cameron unexpectedly re-enters the government as the Foreign Secretary. This surprising move follows Prime Minister Rishi Sunak's decision to dismiss Suella Braverman and appoint James Cleverly as the new Home Secretary on November, on November 24, A23A, the largest iceberg in the world, measuring 4,000 square kilometers, 1,500 square miles, was once again on the move. After being stuck in the Weddell Sea for over 30 years, it has resumed its journey. On the same day, a four-day ceasefire in Gaza has started, during which Hamas released 24 hostages and Israel released 39 Palestinian prisoners. This pause allows for the delivery of much-needed humanitarian aid to the region. On November 28, 41 Indian construction workers were successfully rescued after being trapped for 41 days in a collapsed tunnel in Uttarakhand. On December 13, the COP28 in Dubai concluded with an agreement from 190 countries to start transitioning away from fossil fuels. It's a compromise, but notably the first global agreement directly addressing a move away from fossil fuels. About a month after the evacuation of the town Grindavik, a volcano on the Reykjanes Peninsula in Iceland erupts, situated 40 kilometers from the country's capital, Reykjavik, on December 18th. Please note that this is not a complete list and many other important events have occurred throughout the year 2023. We hope you enjoyed this overview of recent history. If so, we appreciate it if you like this video or share it with friends. Don't forget to subscribe so you get notifications of future videos. Thanks for watching, and we wish you all a happy and prosperous 2024.